morning YouTube and welcome back to my channel kidney care coaching my name is Stephanie and in today's video I'm going to discuss non dietary causes of hyperkalemia or high potassium before I get too deep into the video if you would subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell I would greatly appreciate it so that you don't miss out on any exciting and new content so before I babble on too much let me get into it okay hyperkalemia is going to be a potassium above 5.5 milliequivalents per liter okay a lot of times um, with our healthy kidneys, when kidneys are working perfectly well, the kidneys actually regulate the um, potassium in the body. So when the potassium gets too low, kidneys know how to hold on to potassium. When the potassium gets too high, the kidneys can excrete more potassium, okay? So when your kidneys don't work, what controls your potassium is going to be your diet, going to dialysis, and sometimes other things you do in your bot for your health also affect your potassium level. So here are some non-dietary non causes of potassium related to dialysis. Number one, if you're shortening your treatments, if your treatment time is four hours and you're running two hours and your potassium is above 5.5, that could be the cause, okay? Missing a treatment is a no-brainer. One thing about potassium and dialysis, if you receive a proper treatment, your potassium should be, should be, because we don't draw post-potassium, but your potassium is usually going to be normalized three and a half to five and a half below, probably three and a half to five. Your potassium post-treatment should be around three and a half to five milli equivalents per liter. So every dialysis session resets your potassium. And you might say, well, why does it do it for potassium and not for phosphorus? Well, potassium is a water soluble vitamin and it's easy, it's easily, easily, can I talk, dialyze off off of your body through dialysis. It's easier to control with dialysis than phosphorus. Anytime, and also another cause could be if you're going to dialysis, you're running your time, but let's say your machine alarms the whole time, you're, you, the duration of your treatment, and you didn't really get real, a really good cleaning, or you're having a lot of recirculation in that access, you could have high potassium from that, okay? So, of course, you want to follow the doctor's recommendation with going to interve interventional radiology or the access center so that they can check on your access and keep it working properly. Some other, other medical causes of high potassium, such as if you have a GI bleed, if you've been prone to having a GI bleed, that could be a cause of your high potassium. There's certain um, high, high blood sugar. If you have high blood sugar constantly, that can make your potassium high. Being constipated, that can cause high potassium. And then there's other things, lifestyle, that could be causing your potassium to run high, such as chewing tobacco. I think because people keep it in their mouth, you know, for a long period of time, and with the mucous membranes in our mouths, we absorb a lot of things out of the chewing tobacco. So that could be why it could be high there. And there's some supplements that people take, such as over-the-counter supplements, um, vitamins and minerals over-the-counter, such as a multivitamin that's made for regular people who don't have dialysis issues. Taking that can run your potassium high as well. So you want to make sure that the, mo the most effective way to control your potassium is, of course, with diet. And the second most effective way is with coming to your dialysis regularly, running all of your treatments, your full time is the best way to control your potassium. So uh, if you have any comments about the video, please let, leave them below. If there's anything else you'd like for me to discuss in regards to potassium, 
uh, leave it below. And I really appreciate you taking the time to stay, stay tuned to the end. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on, many, on any of my uh, new videos. So thanks again and you guys be safe, go to dialysis and run your full time. Thank you. Have a good one.